This would simplify to 10 times the square root of 2, or 10 root 2. The key idea is to remember that multiplication is between the numbers and the radical sign. We can rewrite the square root of 50 as the square root of 25 times 2. Then we use our product rule to break this radical up into two separate radicals. We know the square root of 25 is 5, so we have 2 times 5, which is 10, times the square root of 2. We don't want to add these numbers together since multiplication was really between the radicals and the numbers to begin with. So that's why the answer wasn't 7 root 2. It might be easy to think that way, but just remember what's actually going on between the numbers.